Let's talk about activity, app mentions, and personal notifications in Microsoft Teams. I'm already on the activity node of Megan's Microsoft Teams client, and we can see that she's getting notifications from different apps, where Insights is an app that's providing notifications here. We've got a Power Apps ready to go on a specific channel. And then, of course, we've got people who've been app mentioning or applying to conversations that Megan started, perhaps. So it's a variety of notifications, but we can also notice there's icons that are being used that also help us see what the specific action was, such as a reply with a back arrow like that. We've got a heart, which is a reaction to a post, and, or an at sign, which is like an at mention. And whenever you click on any of these notifications, notice it takes me straight to that message and highlights it in yellow so I can see it before it fades back to its normal tone there. I can also, for any of these activity notifications, mark something unread. If I want to come back and visit that again later, maybe that helps me remember that, oh, that's the activity notification I was looking for. Now, since a lot of these are message related, they're pretty similar, but those that do come from an app could vary pretty uh, significantly depending on what the app is. So for example, I've got a how are you feeling insights notification here, and if I click on that, it actually takes me out of any messages or channels and takes me to the Viva Insights app, where I would then be able to see how my feelings have changed over time, change my reminder settings, or even go back to the full app where maybe I want to take some actions um, inside of Viva Insights. Now let's also talk about app mentions a little bit. We know that Megan's getting app mention notifications, right? Because Diego app mentioned Megan. But there's actually several ways to app mention somebody. So let's talk about the different options. Now, first of all, if I'm in a group chat, such as the Diego Isaiah Joni plus three, with so many people, it might be hard for me to figure out what's important to me specifically. So I might help my colleagues out here and I might say specifically Diego, thanks for the reminder yesterday. And I send that. So you can app mention a person inside of a group chat. It just kind of helps make sure that people have the, their eyes on the right pieces of content when you need them. And then if I go over to the Teams node on the left-hand side, it's very similar inside of a conversation as we've seen, where I could app mention Diego again. And it's gonna do the same thing. Diego's gonna get a notification, say, hey, come look at this message. So that's a personal app mention. Now in a channel, I have a couple more options. I could say app mention the name of the channel. So maybe it's gonna be general in this case. And notice it pops up as I start typing it, just like a person would. So general, please review. Right, And whenever you app mention a channel or a team, everybody who's a member of the team gets a notification. The exception would be if you have a private channel, but in most cases you're probably going to be working with standard channels just like we see here, no padlocks. So in that case, uh, it doesn't matter if you app mention, you know, in this case, test, monthly reports, or general, app mentioning all three of those channels just does the same thing as app mentioning the sales and marketing team. The, the main difference here and what I tell users to kind of consider when they're choosing whether or not to app mention a specific channel or the whole team is really just thinking about what's going to get someone's attention. For example, let's come down here to the communications team and there's a general channel and a UI UX copy guidelines channel. If I just app mention communications in a post, there's a good chance that a lot of people who are part of my team are just going to see, oh, the whole team was mentioned. And maybe they don't feel that sense of ownership, right? It's kind of that diffusion of responsibility principle. Whereas if I specifically app mention UI UX copy guidelines, and that's something that you specifically work a lot on, like that's your main focus area in our team, chances are I'm going to get your attention, right? It's going to be more relevant to you and you're more likely to respond. So I use app mentions of channels to make sure that the right people are more likely to respond, kind of help them find what's important. So uh, you, you've already seen me do an app mention of a channel. Let's go ahead and app mention a team. So we'll just stay here in communications and I'll start typing in the name of the team and choose it just like it's a person. And there is a fourth way to app mention. So what I'm gonna do for this next one is go to sales and marketing, go to my settings for that and manage tags. And I'm just doing this as a one-time thing to kind of get it set up so I can use that fourth way to app mention. So manage tags, and let's say I'm the owner of the team and I'm well aware of who my members are. And I wanna create a tag just for my sales folks. All right, 
got one tag created and then since it's sales and marketing I'm gonna create a tag for my marketing folks and create so now I have two tags and each of those tags has two members but the whole team if I just go over to my members tab here I can see there's 14 members and six owners so I've got 20 people here in this team now I'm going to go to the monthly reports channel, reply to a post here, and at mention one of my new tags. So at sales, and now I can choose between sales and marketing the entire team of 20 people, or just the two people who I tagged as being sales folks. All right, and just like the sales, I could do marketing. And once again, I get suggestions for both, but I'd want to choose the tag for that more focused tag and only notifying the relevant people. So it's a great way to limit how many people are getting notifications and decrease the fatigue people may feel sometimes from getting over notified and really focus it on the people specifically who need to take action or see something. Now, lastly, let's talk about your personal notifications where maybe you're getting um, too many or too few. Uh, for any specific channel, like if I go to the general uh, channel over here, notice I have a channel notifications option where I could turn off channel notifications. So if I'm getting too many from the specific one, I might want to turn those off. I also have the opposite ability to turn on all activity. And you may be wondering what custom is, but we'll get to that in just a moment. But just know that the default setting for all channels is custom. So we'll take a closer look at that here in just a moment. But we can turn off or turn up notifications on a channel. Now similarly, inside of a chat, I could go to any chat, use its ellipsis, and mute it, which means I won't get notifications for that chat. But then let's talk more globally. Instead of just looking at one channel and one chat, we can make universal changes. So up in the upper right hand corner, use your ellipsis next to your profile photo, go to settings, and choose notifications. Now from here you can change your email notification settings, whether Teams uses its own notifications or whether it uses your operating system's notifications. That works for both Windows and Mac depending on your device. You can choose whether or not you see a message preview. So if people are walking around behind you, you may want to turn that off so that they don't see the first line of a message that somebody sends you. Um, playing a sound, if that's becoming obtrusive, you might want to go ahead and turn that off as well. And then remember on the channels, the default setting for notifications was set to custom. Well, here in the Teams and Channels section, here's that custom. So <laughs> we can click on custom to see specifically what that means. So if you don't make any, any changes to any of your channels and they all stay on custom, that means that when you get a personal app mention, when somebody says at Megan, you're going to get a banner and a feed notification. Banners are the pop-ups and then feed is the activity feed. Okay, now for some of these you can turn it off completely, but others you have to choose at least one. Okay, so you can customize that for all teams and channels, or just those that you've chosen to show and pin. So you can customize it just a little bit more there. Now if I go back, notice you've got even more notifications here that you could modify for yourself to really make sure that you're, you're only being made aware of stuff that's important to you, and that you're able to focus as much as possible. Now for those of you using the mobile app of Teams, also be sure to look at the settings for that because there's quiet hours you can set up to make sure that you're not notified after work hours.